Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my TJ Maxx vlog as well as haul towards the end of the video. This week, TJ Maxx started picking up once again. I want to give you guys a little bit of information that me and Emma realized. Usually around January time and around like the end of June slash the beginning of July, there isn't a ton of products at TJ Maxx. And I think that goes for most TJ Maxx's. So if you guys haven't been finding much, that's most probably why. TJ Maxx is definitely picking up and hopefully it's going to pick up even more from here. We did find some really, really exciting products. Back to routine, back to schedule. So freaking excited for this. I also wanted to mention that I did do a declutter video earlier this week, which I'll have linked down below of my highlighters. And I think I did an amazing job. So if you guys want to check that out and compliment me, I'll take it because it was hard as hell. Other than that, if anyone on here is brand new, I do upload these videos every single Saturday. I'll have my playlist down below in the description box. Let me know what you guys found at TJ Maxx or Marshalls and let's go ahead and get started. So firstly, I see that there are two pieces of these Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Nail Lacquer Sets. So usually I don't show nail polishes, but this is kind of exciting, so I had to. Retailing only for $9.99, and I know on Marc Jacobs' site, each one retails for $18. And then here you guys can see the shade names. The one on the left is Lapis of Luxury, and then the one on the right is Plum Fiction. I also see that they have a nice amount of these Elizabeth Arden Flawless Future Moisturizers. These have SPF 30, and there's 1.74 ounces of product in here. Retailing for $19.99. Next up, we have the Laura Geller Luminous Veil Cream Stick Foundation. So there were two pieces here, both in the same shade, fair. And these are retailing for $3.99. Amazing deal, wow. How much of a boob does this look like right now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, it is retractable. It seems like it's really nice quality, and I think it should be nice. Looks good. And then I see this Laura Geller with berries on top lip and cheek kit. I do not recall seeing this. I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, but it actually is on clearance, which is amazing. Five buckaroos. These are three full-size products. The blush is missing from the box. That's probably why it's five dollars. The bus blush is in berry truffle. The gloss is in strawberry cream. And then we get a retractable brush. If you buy this, just make sure all the pieces are inside. Of course, it is always a blessing to see amazing NARS products at TJ Maxx. These are the 49 brushes. You can use them wet or dry. Retailing for $7.99 each. Like, it looks like it's more of like a flat shader brush. We have more of these afterglow palettes here from Becca. I think that they're not selling too well because of the fact that they're 30 bucks each. I would expect them to be 20. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make sense. 30, it's a lot. Checking out this section right here, I see that they stocked up on these Becca glosses. I believe we saw this in the past, but this one I believe is a new shade. These glosses are retailing for $6.99 each. Amazing quality. I love these. So here you guys can see this one right here is called Fox Glove. Pretty sure we haven't seen this one yet. It's like a light berryish type of color. And then this one right here is a gorgeous, beautiful, like, popsicle orange in the shade Tiger Lily. I feel like that's from a movie or something. I also see that they restocked on a nice amount of these Laura Geller Color Luster lip glosses. They're amazing. They add the most beautiful effect to the lips. Super beyond affordable at $2.99 each. So here you guys can see the shade names. Top one is Rose Tourmaline. Middle one is Pink Sapphire. And then the bottom one is Bronze Foil. Moving on to this section here, we have these Becca Love Glow Glaze Sticks. This got me so excited. Like, I'm so giddy here in the store. Retailing for $5.99 each. It's basically the glow glaze stick. There's only one shade and it looks like it's more of like a champagne-y type of gold. I feel like it would probably be very universally flattering. The packaging is cute, it's retractable too. And so I'm at Marshall's now for a few moments. I wanted to just show you guys these Vava Plump uh, lip products, Shiny Liquid Lipsticks from Buxom. So we saw three out of four of these two weeks back, but there's one shade we haven't seen yet, so I had to show you guys in case you're on the lookout. And these are retailing for $5.99 each. Oh, so we've never seen Push Up Pink, but we did see Give Me a Hint, Amuse Me, and Honeydew. And then here you guys can see what the shade looks like. It's a little bit more deeper than what I expected, like a deeper pink for sure. And then I wanted to show you guys that they stocked up on these Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Blushes, retailing for $3.99. They're all in the same shade, which is Papaya. Emma mentioned that um, it used to be $10 and now it's $3.99. So if you guys wanted these, now's the time to pick it up. I own this already, so I'm not going to pick it up. But it's a gorgeous, beautiful, like, summer staple. It's stunning orange. I also see that we have these Kevin Aquan The Molten Lip Color. So they're basically glosses. And these are retailing for $7.99 each. Here you guys can see the top shade is in titanium. And the bottom one is in bronze. Let me tell you. I am in a state of shock. I cannot believe it. This is just beyond, beyond exciting. So we have eight pieces here. So four here, four on the other side. These are the Marc Jacobs Make Your Lamarck three-piece travel um, lip set. Retailing for $12.99. You guys know I obviously need this in my life. So these are basically liquid lipstick, like 
chubby pencils you know what I mean so basically you apply it on and then it has a lasting power of a liquid lipstick yeah it sounds really really cool they didn't really do too well um, so that's I'm assuming they're kind of here but I love these colors except for maybe this one um, and I love the sizes so I'm getting it I'm getting it I'm getting it such a good deal the cool part about this also is that there's like a little flap to it and you can just open it up like a little window also the music here is definitely rocking I just shazammed it we recently stocked up on the Too Faced Sweetie Pie bronzers if you guys were interested in these they have a whole selection here, and of course I have my folk that has nothing to do with anything. I also see that they stocked up on a ton of these Laura Mercier palettes. This is the, um, what is this, Editorial Eye Palette. I showed you guys this a few weeks ago, $16.99. We have some bomb Laneige skincare products here. Laneige is one of my favorite brands. They sell the products at Sephora. This is the Water Sleeping Mask. It is, of course, in the full size, retailing for $16.99. I do own this already, and I will say that I think it would be great if you have oily skin. I felt like for my dry skin, it wasn't, like, too hydrating. You guys don't even understand how excited I am to see these here. Like, my heart is sinking. I've been looking out for these for the past, I want to say, three weeks, at least, if not more. So, to see it here, I'm like, oh, hands are shaking, hands are shaking. So, these are the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. I know a lot of you guys tried these out as well. You mentioned it was one of your favorites, and I'm like, yes, you can not go wrong with this and so these are retailing for $12.99 each these are full sizes and it's pretty huge like it's gonna last you forever even if you use it every day I already own the berry one and I'm obsessed but I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase grapefruit because you know what I mean I need it in my life you guys know this already I see that they're bringing in a ton of bucks and lip products we've never seen these right it's exciting these are the pillow pow creamy what is this plumping lip powder so cool I like the name super affordable at $3.99 each and there was only one shade here and this is in the shade want to. You guys know that I want you. And it looks like it's more of like a grape type of color. I don't know how I feel about the shade though. You know what I mean? I hope they, I wish they bring in like nudish type of colors. Somebody mentioned in my other video that they hate when I say, you know what I mean? But I'm like, what do you mean? But do you really know what I mean or do you not? <laughs> we also have one of these Laura Geller Easy Illuminating Sticks. I don't recall ever seeing this shade retailing for $3.99. So it's a stick highlighter and you guys can see it's in the shade Ethereal. It's a pinky color. We have more of these Real Techniques. Um, sponges i don't know why i just never got down with these i don't really enjoy it but they are bringing them back i saw them a few months back and i see them again today so you get four sponges for 12.99 what are your what are your thoughts on this i just have to know Ooh, this looks really good i don't think i've ever seen the post-workout cool down mist from elf this is retailing for 2.99 i don't know why i'm so attracted to mists in general but like i i, I feel the need to just get all of them you know what i mean i'm gonna purchase this baby i see more elf products here i don't think we've seen this in the past this is the baked highlighter and apricot glow and this one right here is in blush gems these would probably be great if you have a medium to deep complexion i feel like it'd be way too dark for me and as per usual with elf and drugstore products here at tj max um both of these are 2.99 so i just popped by the makeup organizational section i like to pop by here occasionally if they have anything cool i thought i would show you guys this i thought it was pretty cute we get a makeup brush holder as well as a little tray where you can put maybe your sponges and stuff and honestly pretty affordable um retailing for $6.99 i thought it was ray done first but it's not it kind of looks similar to her products though and then this is the next thing i wanted to show you guys there's only one piece here i know how in marble is and just this looks kind of hot and this is retailing for $9.99 it's really pretty yeah i think i need this I'm like looking at it. I'm like, yeah, I think I, I think I need this. Like, imagine this on my shelves, you know, like with brushes or like cool shit. You know what I mean? Okay, we're taking you home. So I was just skimming through what they have here in Marshalls, and then I was like, um, hi, I've never seen you before. So, can we just have a moment, please? This is the Laura Geller the Jewel Box Kit. They only have one piece here, and of course, with all these kits, they're always priced so so well for full size products. This is $9.99. Okay, so here's everything that's included. We get a blush duo, an eyeshadow duo. From what it seems like, right over here, down here, is a bronzer. We get this lipstick in Vista, which was definitely swatched, unfortunately. This also definitely looks like it was used, but it looks like it's an orange, like, crayon type of product. And then we get a brown eyeliner. I actually checked out to see if this was supposed to be in here, but you guys can see, like, there's more space. The mascara was supposed to be included in here. I think someone just, like, swapped it out. So, just letting you know, make sure you get your pieces in here if you purchase this. This does not belong. I'm happy by this section. I see that we have two of these. This is the Pixie Beauty Blush Duo Kit. Um, plus kabuki brush included so you guys can see it comes with like a rosy-ish bl um, blush and then a really stunning like rosy highlighter their products are beautiful and this is retailing for only $7.99 bomb deal just it's the bomb.com so we have some products here from elf at marshall's these are $2.99 each this is the pump ump up nude lip product it's from their workout line and then i see that they have two of these elf plump and prep lip kits 
pretty cool. Maybe it's supposed to make your lips look juicier and bigger. You know what I'm saying? Like the buxom glosses. Uh, this is retailing for $3.99. So I just wanted to show you guys that they stocked up once again on a bunch of goodies. Most of these products we've gone through already. Some of them we didn't. So we're going to touch base on all. Don't worry. And then we have a nice amount of pixie stocked up here as well. Yes, a ton. Yeah, something exciting there, which we've never seen. There's me, what's up? This is the cutest baby alive! I do know that the quality is not the best of the best, but come on, this is just like a tushy. This is the definition, right here. Wow, retailing for $14.99. I feel like that's a little bit too pricey. I would expect it to be $12.99, considering that the other chocolate bar palettes are like, what, $20? If you are a chocolate addict, you probably need this in your life. It's a small pocket size. So here's what the palette looks like. It smells delicious, and there are 11 shades that are included. Again, all of them are matte. We have these products here from Pixie, which we saw the other day. They're just stocking up here. So we saw these at, T at Marshalls, actually, but now I see them at uh, TJ Maxx, as we saw a few weeks back. This one right here is, I believe, a brand new palette. It's the Eye Reflection Shadow Palette. We basically get mainly metallic shades in here and not necessarily any mattes. Very, very pretty. You guys know I love Pixie. Very, very cheap, I have to say. I was expecting it to be $9.99, but $8.99? Damn, like... Not bad. I also see that they stocked up on a lot of these Too Faced Melted Liquified Longwear Lipsticks. So earlier this week we saw these in the full sizes, but now I see they have the small deluxe sizes all in the shade Chihuahua. And these are $3.99 each. We saw the Glow Job by Too Faced a few months back, but not this one. We saw the one in the pink glitter form. Basically, this one right here is in silver. Retailing for $14.99, which I think is not bad, just because I remember the pink one being $19.99, if I'm not mistaken. Too Faced knows how to do it with packaging. But come on, the name Glow Job, what are they thinking? <laughs> Why oh, gotta be such a sickle? The next Pixie product we have here is this nourishing sleep wet mask with jojoba and lavender oils. It's retailing for $7.99. I see that they stocked up on these Too Faced Life's a Festival palettes. These are also products we saw last year um, in the summertime, so they are bringing them back if you guys missed out on them. I did purchase mine for the full price tag on Sephora when it came out last year, but uh, this one right here is retailing for $19.99. And then I'll just show you guys quickly the packaging if you missed out on my video last year. But here's what it looks like. It's like mushy. And then here you guys can see what the shades look like on the inside. It's beautiful. I do like the quality. The next thing I see here is this Dr. Brent Glow Overnight Revitalizing Serum. I just wanted to show it to you guys in case you are into the Dr. Brent brand. It is a full size retailing for $19.99. Really good. And then we have this Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner by Dr. Brandt as well. I love, love, love the name. I need my, my pores to be vacuum cleaned ASAP. I'm kidding. I mean, it's clean, but it's like huge. $11.99. The next few things I see here are these Elf Stardust Glitters. This is in Bronze Comet. Very beautiful. Retailing for $2.99. I popped by Marshalls for a few moments. I see that they have two of these NARS satin lip pencils. Retailing for $7.99 each. These are full sizes. We have this one right here in the shade Isola Bella. I-S-O-L-A Bella. Gorgeous peachy nude. And then we have this one which you guys can see the name right over there. Luxembourg. It's like a hmm, pinky watermelon. The next thing I definitely wanted to show you guys is this ABH lip gloss. How cute! So this is retailing for $3.99 and it's in the shade Butterscotch. It's a gorgeous, very, very light um, nudish type of shade. Maybe concealer we nude a little bit, but I like this kind of color. You didn't know that? It's so pretty. Next one up is a NARS Audacious Lipstick, retailing for $7.99. So we're seeing the Audacious Lipsticks um, week after week, but in different shades. Here's what Sandra looks like. I would say it's more like a burgundy brown. The next two things I see here are these Urban Decay Singular Eyeshadows. These are $6.99 each, hopefully you guys can see. So this one right here is in Sirius, it's like a brown black. And then this one right here is a beautiful cobalt blue in the shade, um, and the name, one second, Chaos. Then I wanted to just show you guys, they have this Laura Geller Fortifying Lashes Eyelash Primer. I don't recall ever seeing this, I wanted to just mention it to you guys, $3.99. It's interesting though because it says that it's in black. I do know with primers usually like they come out white, so something new I guess. So the first two products we have here are the highlighting blush powders. There are two pieces. Retailing for $9.99. And this is such a cult classic like shade. It's insane to see it here. This is in the shade Hot Sand. Here's what the shade looks like. It says highlighter blush, but I think that this is pretty much just a highlighter. It looks like a light peachy shade. The next two things I see here are these Audacious Lipsticks in shades we've never seen before, $7.99 each. This is a gorgeous shade. It's in Annabella. It's like the perfect red, but it also has a little bit of oranginess in there too. Yeah, right? Mars, I want to just speak to you guys about this. This is the Laura Geller Dripping in Gold Illuminating 
Illuminator palette. So there were only three pieces in total for my TJ Maxx here. And the original value of this was 32 bucks, but it's retailing for $6.99 here. And I'm just like, yeah, I need it, it's beautiful. We have uh, Molten Copper Gilded Honey and French Fizz. And then there are two grams of product in each highlighter, so and the typical ones I think usually have six, so you still get a really nice amount in here. The next few products we have here are these velvet lip glides. So excited for these. Um, I just love them. They're like they feel so delicious on the lips. I'm telling you guys, a lot of you guys started saying delicious, yum, and I'm telling you, this is the definition. Retailing for $7.99 each. Here you guys can see the two shades we have. The top one is Deviant, it's a uh, burgundy, and then Mind Shaft is pretty much a true red. Next to NARS products we have here are concealers. We saw this last time at Marshalls, but they brought it to TJ Maxx, $7.99. Both in the same shade, medium 1.5. And these are retractable um, concealers, just for reference. And then I also wanted to show you guys the Audacious Mascaras. Last time we also saw it at Marshalls, but they have it now at TJ Maxx, $12.99. The next few things we have here are from NARS as well. These are the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. We saw a few earlier this week. Now we have five different shades, $7.99 each. First, the first one we have up is in Roman Holiday. I feel like this has more of like a satin finish and the name definitely rings a bell. I think that they used to include this shade in holiday kits like, I don't know, I wanna say 2015, 2016. It's such a beautiful bubblegum pink. This shade right here definitely has my heart. I just love how different it is. I love it. It's called Lonely Heart and it's like this deep brown. This is the next shade that we have up. It's a beautiful orange. You guys can see the shade name right over there. This one right here is in Villa Lante. I think we saw this at Marshalls the other day, but now they have it at TJ Maxx. And this is the final shade we have up. It's a gorgeous um, peachy shade. We possibly saw this um, yesterday too. The next two NARS products we have here are these Velvet Lip Crayons. So we have two of them in two different shades, retailing for $7.99 each. So here are the two shades that we have. The top one there is a hot pink and the bottom one is a gorgeous true orange. I love the orange. So I also wanted to show you guys that they stocked up on these NARS Sculpting Multi Duo like foundation sticks. They have them in various different shades. This is retailing for $14.99. The next two things I see here are from Physicians Formula. These are the Nude Wear Highlighters. This one right here is in a deeper shade, of course, a lighter shade. I used to own this, recently decluttered it. I do like the formula, I just found that I wasn't using it, but it's really nice quality. And these are retailing for $3.99 each, which is amazing, because I think I bought mine for like 14. You know how expensive Physicians Formula could be. Then I see that they stocked up on a few of these powders slash bronzers, also from, from Physicians Formula. And these are also retailing for $3.99, which is an amazing deal. You guys know these are typical I think about 15, 10 to 15 bucks on Ulta. The next two things we have here are these Cover Toxin um, Wrinkle Therapy Face Powder, $3.99 each. I wanted to just show you guys how much they literally stocked up. This definitely is a NARS week. Come on, this is a ton of products here. We've gone through all of these, don't worry though. And then in this bin, we also have like Elizabeth Arden, some Bite, Urban Decay. We went through this as well, like in the past. The next two things I see here are from Revlon. So exciting, very cute. So this comes with an exfoliating balm as well as a regular balm. This is called Berry Burst. And then this one right here is called um, Juicy Peach. And these are retailing for $3.99 each. The next two things, oh Emma, you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> you wanna be in the video or? <laughs> Right. Hi, I'm Mrs. Leora. She's the best one. I haven't seen you in a few days. Yes, and I, I mean, like maybe more. Maybe I know, more. like two, a yes, week maybe. Yes. No, maybe two, two weeks. Miss <laughs> Leora, she's the best one. Please subscribe to her. She's, she's so cute. One. I don't know, no one like her, so she's oh. the best one. She's really so sweet, Emma. And you don't lie, right? No. And when you use those words, yeah, bushy, bushy, <laughs> yum, yes, delicious. Yes. I love this. <laughs> Keep on doing it. So the next two products we have here are from Pro Fusion. The one on the left is in Charm, and the one on the right is in Dream. In each kit, we're getting a matte lip cream, a matte lip liner, and a sparkling lip topper. Both pretty neutral, nudish type of shades. And these kits are retailing for $3.99, which I think is pretty good. The next exciting product I see here is this Becca Luminous Blush in Blushed Copper. It's a new one. I don't think we've ever found it. No, never. Emma says no. Retailing for $7.99. So here's what the blush looks like. It definitely is more on the deeper side. Depending, depending on your skin tone, maybe you'll be able to wear it as a highlighter, but... Or like a blush topper. For the next thing that we have here is this Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Stick Trio. So we've seen this in the past, but I wanted to just keep you guys aware and informed that they are raising the prices of certain products. I don't know why. Maybe it's because TJ Maxx sees that people are coming, so they want to make more money. I'm not sure. But this is retailing for $24.99. I think it used to be $16.99 if I'm not mistaken. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. The next little thing I see here is this Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Highlighter retailing for $7.99. I purchased this in the full size 
for $7.99. Now this baby is $7.99 here. It's, it's crazy. This is specifically in the shade medium. They have the shade fair, light, and deep as well. It's very pretty. It's very natural on, but looks very clean. So the next two products we have here are shadows. Um, I think that these are pretty cool because they're like loose shadows. Um, retailing for $4.99 each. You guys hopefully could see. And so this one right here is in Lovely. I guess you could use it for the eyes and possibly the cheeks. Maybe like as a blush. Beautiful color. And this is gorgeous. Emma said she owns this and it's beautiful. You guys know I love using um, eyeshadows as highlighters. So I probably would use this for like the face and eyes. Yeah, you're, you're so cute. And this is in the shade Pure Radiance. It's like a goldeny opaly type of color. The next thing I see here is just Laura Geller Smoothing Foundation Blender. It kind of feels pretty light, not gonna lie. And these are retailing for $2.99 each. Here's what the sponge looks like. Um, I think it's okay. I'm not really that into these kind of products. I personally won't, wouldn't recommend it or purchase it myself. But if you guys are into these, maybe you'd like it. <laughs> the next thing I see here is Laura Geller. This is the Spackle Tinted Makeup Primer in Champagne. We've seen other ta um, Spackle Tinted Primers, but we've never seen the Champagne shade. I'm not sure she's gonna purchase this for herself. This is retailing for $3.99. It has more of like a luminous type of finish, but I don't think it's gonna be too too much on the face, you know? It looks good. But then I have um, one of the Laura Geller Nude Kisses lip glosses here, as well as the Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipstick. And both of these are retailing for $3.99. This so one right here is in Brian Park Blossom. It's a really beautiful mauve ish type of color, and these lipsticks are amazing. Emma? They're so good. For $4? For $4, it's crazy. This gloss is in the shade Jet Setter, and it's like a deep nude color. I think it'd be a bit more sheer on the lips though. The next thing I see here is this Cream Shop, Cream Shop Next Gen Blender Little Duo. So one is kind of like marbleized, the other one is this beautiful lavender color. I don't know what the quality is like with these sponges. You guys will have to let M and I know because we really don't know. And this is retailing for $5.99. Next two things I see here are from NARS. We saw the 49 brush the other day, but today we see the number 7 brush and the number 46 brush. The number 46 brush is retailing for $7.99, which is pretty affordable, but the number 7 brush is retailing for $19.99. But the original value, it says just $24, which is like, what? So this is the number 46 brush retailing for $7.99. I think it looks okay. But then we have the number 7 brush, which is retailing for $19.99. This one definitely looks so much better, I have to say. It's like a bigger sh uh, shader brush. I really enjoy showing you guys Gucci polishes. This one right here is an antique baby. And it is retailing for $16.99, as you guys can see. So beautiful. I've never tried the Gucci polishes yet, but I'm dying to. The next product I see here is this Bobbi Brown Luxe Lip Color, retailing for $12.99, as you guys can see. And this one right here is in the shade Crimson. Emma did purchase this color. She mentioned she purchased it for $9.99. Um, it looks like a wine type of shade. It's a great formula, right? Very jelly-ish. The next lipstick I have here is the Lipstick Queen Lipstick in Pink Center, retailing for $4.99. Obsessed with these kind of shades, it's like a nudish pink. I'm at Marshalls now and I found two more of these Laura Geller Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipsticks in new shades that we've never seen in the past. So this one right here is in Fifth Avenue Ruby. It's a gorgeous true red and also these are $3.99 like I mentioned before. Emma, pop by Marshalls. Sneaking up on me. <laughs> Unfortunately, this one is not in the best condition, but this is Bleecker Street Peach. So pretty. It's like a peachy pinky, but more peachy. I see another one of these Laura Mercier lip pencils retailing for $7.99 at Marshalls in the shade Hazelnut Tea. Emma? Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, right? She, she saw it. She's like, oh, so beautiful. Mesmerized. Yeah. <laughs> the next kit I see here is this Laura Geller Glow Your Own Way two-piece illuminating kit. So we saw this kit in diamond dust but this kit right here is in um gilded honey and there was only one piece here and this is retailing for $6.99 a crazy deal i actually own so many of the gilded honey highlighters because they came in so many different kits but this one right here has 10 grams of product and usually her highlighters have i think about six so you get a huge amount in here and then the lip toppers is gorgeous like peachy goldy type of shade this is a really good kit if you don't own any of these the next thing I see here is this Laura Geller Baked and Brighton Blush. So we've seen blushes in the past from Laura Geller, but we've never seen this one. This is in Peach Delight, retailing for $5.99. These blushes from Laura Geller are beautiful. And then here you guys can see what the shade looks like. I would say it's more pinkier than peachy. So Emma and I found these Too Faced Melted Liquified Long Wear Lipsticks. So they used to have these in the past. I believe that they're bringing them back in now. So if you guys are interested, TJ Maxx and Marshalls is where it's at. These are retailing for $5.99 each. So these are full sizes. This pink one is in Chihuahua, and then this berry one is in the shade Berry. All right, so I do have a few bags for this week. <laughs> Let's do this. First, I wanted to show you guys these two NARS nail polishes that Emma and I found at TJ Maxx this week as well. Um, Emma 
insisted on purchasing this for me, so I'm like, she's so sweet and cute. I am actually wearing the blue one on my nails today. The green one is in the shade Mash, and then the blue one is in the shade Modus. Really, really beautiful formula. NARS knows how to do it so well with their nail polishes, trust me. So here are the few makeup pieces that I ended up picking up. I also picked up a few, like, clothing items because these are just necessities, things that I needed. I picked up these Mimoy No Show socks. I love this brand. Their socks and tights are so comfortable. Um, this comes with seven pairs for $6.99. I just need it because I always wear sneakers. I got this pack of sports bras. I live in sports bras. Um, this retailed for $12.99 and I was like, oh my god, that's great. So hopefully it's going to feel comfortable. Very, very excited about this. I picked up this Puma Mesh Logo Tank. I love the material. It's a type that's going to make you sweat more, which is, you know, essentially what I do want when I'm working out. This retailed for $12.99. I thought it was an amazing deal. I love it. <laughs> the angle of this is so random, but this is a beautiful long maxi skirt. I live in maxi skirts or like really comfortable leggings in the summertime. This retailed for $19.99, so I figured it was a good price tag. I also picked this up because whenever my mom has meals at her house, she prefers if I come with skirts. So I figured I would respect her more with something like this whenever I go. I'll probably end up wearing this with maybe like a white or black top. So I ended up picking up this marble brush holder. I think it's adorable. You will see it hopefully in a makeup collection video very soon. I did of course pick up the Laneige Grapefruit Sleeping Mask. This is what it looks like. So nice and it smells so delicious. Very light. Um... I'm just um, fresh. The next thing I picked up was the e.l.f. Active Post Workout Cool Down Mist. Dying to try this. I will say that it has a very florally, maybe bathroom-y kind of scent, but it kind of goes away after like two seconds. Really refreshing and nice on the skin. I'll use it after I work out. The next thing that I had to pick up was this Laura Geller Dripping in Gold um, Highlighter Trio. This was just priced so well, okay? Even though I have, I think, two of the shades, I needed it. Honestly, one swipe swatches each. Starting from the left, we have molten, molten copper. Middle one is Gilded Honey, and then the last one is French Fizz. Obsessed with the formula of these. If you guys have never tried them, I'm telling you, you must. The next thing that I ended up picking up was the NARS Highlighting Blush Powder in Hot Sand. The texture of it seems a bit dry and kind of like cardboardy, but when it's swatched, it is a beautiful color. I was thinking about if I really, really need it or not. I'm actually really, really happy that I picked it up. This is my kind of color, 100%. The next thing I knew I had to have in my life was this Marc Jacobs Make Your Lamarck three-piece. What is this? What is this? Three-piece travel um, liquid lip crayon set, basically. Starting from the left, we have Night Mobs. The middle one is Plum and Get It, and the top one is Burn Notice. Just be aware if you guys do purchase these, these are probably the, one of the most softest formulas ever. Like, honestly, probably too soft for a lipstick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's gonna melt away. But once it's on the lips, it really stays on for forever. But just have that in mind. I then ended up picking up a NARS lip pencil and a NARS audacious lipstick. I don't know. I just could not leave this in the store. I was having a really hard time. I'm like, just take it, okay? You know, talking to myself. So the lip liner is that orange shade in Playa Dorado. It's very, very pigmented, very creamy. And it's retractable, which is something that I'm very thankful for. And then the lipstick was with a one swipe swatch in Annabella. And then finally, the last thing I picked up was a Too Faced Matte Chocolate Chip Palette. This one I'm not going to swatch because I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with it. I was having such a hard time with this one. I was like, I want it. I don't want it. I want it. I don't want it. Um, if I end up keeping it, you will see it in my makeup collection video. If I end up just gifting it to a friend, um, then I'll, I'll let you guys know, basically. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know um, if you guys found anything exciting at your local TJ Maxx, if your TJ Maxx or Marshall is starting to pick up, or if it's still kind of slow, I would love to know. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.